What are trichomes? Everything you need to know. Trichomes are found on cannabis and many other plant species. These tiny crystal-like structures that make your cannabis bud shimmer are a critical component in what makes cannabis appetizing. In order to understand the function of trichomes, we'll take a look at several characteristics that help us see the full value, power, and potential contained within trichomes. When viewed under a microscope, trichomes are microscopic, hair-like structures covering the cannabis plant. These shiny, mushroom-shaped growths are at the heart of where cannabinoids, terpenes, and flavonoids are produced. What makes each strain of cannabis unique begins in the trichomes. The basic functions of trichomes are to produce nearly endless varieties of cannabinoid potencies, smells, flavors, and experiences. Let's dive into the research and see if we can find some interesting characteristics of trichomes that are not well covered on traditional platforms. Where are trichomes located? Different shape forms of trichomes are located in different areas of the plant throughout different stages of the life cycle of the cannabis plant. Each unique structure of trichomes yields distinct classifications discussed below. What are cannabis trichomes made of? Since cannabis trichomes are known as the chemical factories, what cannabis trichomes are made of are numerous different chemical compounds. Currently, and depending on the source, research has identified up to 113 cannabinoids, up to 200 terpenes, and approximately 20 flavonoids. Scientists are in the process of identifying all the different types of chemical compounds that make up trichomes. As research continues, more compounds are being discovered in cannabis trichomes. What types of trichomes does cannabis typically have? Even though trichomes can have very specific distinctions and classifications, the trichomes on cannabis and hemp still fall under two basic classifications of granular and non-granular. In the peer-reviewed journal Frontiers in Plant Science, cannabis is shown to have six different types of trichomes. The six types of trichomes found on the cannabis plant include unicellular non-granular, systolithic, capitate sessile, capitate stalked, simple bulbous, and complex bulbous. Descriptions of the six types of cannabis trichomes. Unicellular non-granular trichomes. Tall, thin, sharp, needle-shaped, and approximately 100 microns tall. These are the first trichomes to appear. As the plant matures, these trichomes are mostly found on the undersides of the leaves and on the surface to a lesser extent. Systolithic trichomes. Similar looking to unicellular non-granular trichomes, systolithic trichomes are larger with a rougher texture. These trichomes are located early in the plant's life cycle on the first set of true leaves. Capitate sessile trichomes, a trichome head gland without a long stalk. The diameter of the head is nearly 25 microns wide. Capitate stalked trichomes, found mainly on the blooming parts of the female cannabis plant, including the calyx, petioles, bracts, and bracteoles. What makes this trichome most interesting is it has the highest concentration of cannabinoids. The trichome has a large head gland sitting on top of a tall stalk. As the head gland produces more cannabinoids and other compounds, the secreting head tends to grow larger, up to 100 microns. Simple bulbous trichomes, smallest trichome, with a head gland that's approximately 10 micrometers tall. Complex bulbous trichomes, similar to the simple bulbous trichome, the complex version consists of multiple heads compartmented on top of one another. Of the six different types of trichomes, Frontiers in Plant Science reveals the cannabinoid THCA is mostly accumulated in capitate stalked. The capitate stalked trichome is the most common type of trichome typically shown in microscopic photos of cannabis. What is the function of a trichome? Unique aspects of trichomes involve their ability to secrete and produce natural high-value chemicals. Commonly referred to as biofactories or chemical factories, trichome hairs, first and foremost, serve the health and survival of the plant. Plant physiology explains more on how trichomes help the plant survive and thrive. Trichomes serve the plant by 
protecting it from various insects causing damage, reducing the leaf's temperature, insulating to keep frost from damaging leaf cells, increasing light reflectivity, reducing evaporation, protecting from wind, preventing water loss, reducing the abrasive damage to the leaves, pathogen defense, pest resistance, and pollinator attraction. For humans, trichomes serve the purpose of being a natural resource for pharmaceutical and nutraceuticals. Due to the cannabis plant's capability to create, transport, store, and secrete a variety of chemical compounds, pharmaceutical and nutraceutical research is continuing to find more ways that trichomes can help humans thrive. Do trichomes get you high? Out of all the different parts of the cannabis plant, arguably the most desirable portion are the trichomes. What makes trichomes the most valuable and sought after components of cannabis are the chemical compounds found inside. The chemical compounds found inside can be vastly different depending on several factors. What determines the different chemical compounds that will get you high comes from heating certain cannabinoids in the trichomes. Without first heating specific cannabinoids, you will not get high. Trichomes alone, consumed raw, still have lots of therapeutic effects. However, without decarboxylating them through heating, the desirable psychoactive tetrahydrocannabinol molecule will remain as the precursor tetrahydrocannabinolic acid molecule. The THCA molecule is not psychoactive and will not get you high.